The transmission from 3i Atlas began as a faint anomaly in the background of the cosmic static, an irregular pulse that drew attention not because it was loud, but because it was deliberate. Researchers were accustomed to sifting through signals drowned in cosmic noise, yet this one carried the telltale rhythm of intent. The moment the data was cleaned, aligned and run through multiple verification protocols, it became clear that this was not a random burst of radiation, nor a simple fluctuation in interstellar plasma. It was structured, patterned, and most disturbingly it was directed. The very existence of the transmission confirmed suspicions long whispered in observatories and classified rooms. Something beyond the solar system was not just present, but watching. Before we dive deeper, make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on more discoveries like this one. The name 3i Atlas comes from its initial designation as the third identified interstellar object catalogued with the help of the Atlas survey. Unlike its predecessors, however, it did not slip by silently. Its trajectory had already set astronomers on edge, for it did not obey the randomness expected of natural bodies drifting between stars. Now with the transmission, unease turned into dread. The signal was aimed with precision, tightly beamed in a way that suggested it was not a natural radio emission, but a constructed broadcast. Every frequency band analyzed showed harmonics aligned in a way that betrayed intelligence behind it. What unsettled the community most was not simply that it had spoken, but that it had spoken directly into the listening range we use most frequently for deep space observation, as if it knew exactly where we would be paying attention. The technical breakdown of the message revealed no comforting ambiguity. Analysts noted patterns repeating in mathematical sequences, the kind of universal language that civilizations would use to announce their presence across vast gulfs of space. Prime numbers emerged, followed by complex wave modulations that hinted at layered data encoding. The initial excitement of deciphering an extraterrestrial signature quickly soured when deeper spectral analysis uncovered a chilling reality. Embedded within the carrier waves was not merely a greeting or neutral introduction, but instructions, commands formatted as if designed to interact with systems on Earth. The implication was staggering. This was not an accidental overlap of communication styles. It was a targeted reach, a probing test to see what could be triggered. From that moment, fears hardened into certainty. For decades, debates raged about whether first contact would be benign, hostile or indifferent. The Three-Eye Atlas transmission forced the question into stark relief. Its contents implied surveillance, knowledge of our frequencies, and an understanding of our computational structures. The fact that the message was intelligible at all, without requiring impossible leaps of interpretation, suggested that whoever or whatever sent it had been monitoring us for a long time. There was no comfort in imagining a benevolent observer. The precision of the signal carried the cold efficiency of reconnaissance rather than the warmth of curiosity. It was not just that we were being noticed. It was that we were being assessed. The implications rippled through scientific and political communities alike. If a transmission could be designed to resonate within Earth's technological infrastructure, then the line between astronomical observation and cyber intrusion had collapsed. Security agencies understood the parallel immediately. This was the extraterrestrial equivalent of a probing scan on a network, the kind of activity a hacker performs before launching a more direct intrusion by embedding structured code into a signal detectable by our instruments. The senders had demonstrated both their reach and their intent. They were not merely announcing themselves, they were testing how deeply they could sink into our systems without resistance. One of the most haunting aspects of the event was the timing. The object had already raised suspicions due to its erratic trajectory, one that defied the predictions made when it was first catalogued. Its acceleration shifts hinted at non-gravitational propulsion, a possibility that many dismissed publicly but whispered privately. When the transmission arrived, it coincided with a perihelion point in its orbit, as if the sender had waited for the optimal position to broadcast toward Earth with maximum clarity. This synchronization was too precise to dismiss as chance. It suggested planning, strategy, and above all, patience. The message was not impulsive. It was part of a sequence of operations. For the astronomers who first detected the signal, 
the weight of revelation was crushing. To them, the universe had always been an expansive wonder, full of mysteries waiting to be explored with cautious optimism. Now that optimism had been darkened by the realization that the cosmos was not a silent stage, but a theater with active players, players who may not wish us well. The worst fears of the scientific community had always hovered on the edge of thought, that confirmation of intelligence would not bring a mutual exchange of knowledge, but a reminder of our vulnerability. The Three Eye Atlas transmission made that fear tangible, undeniable, and immediate. Every detail of the message reinforced the impression of deliberate contact. Its modulation avoided natural distortions, ensuring it arrived cleanly. Its encoding contained redundancy, as if to guarantee comprehension no matter how primitive or advanced the receiver. And most troubling of all, its amplitude fluctuated in synchronization with Earth's own planetary resonance, almost mocking the idea of coincidence. It was a demonstration of awareness, an extraterrestrial entity, not just signaling randomly into the void, but calibrating its voice to our very existence. That degree of precision stripped away any hope of benign misunderstanding. The philosophical consequences were just as profound as the scientific ones. Humanity had long grappled with the paradox of silence. If the universe was teeming with life, why had we not heard from it? The answer, it seemed, was not that the universe was silent, but that it was waiting, waiting until the right moment, or until we had developed sufficiently for our signals to attract attention. The eerie thought that lingered was whether Three Eye Atlas was the first of many or simply the first one we had noticed. If transmissions of this kind were possible, then how many had we missed? How many had slipped by disguised as static while we tuned our instruments to narrower bands? The knowledge that at least one message had been caught meant countless others could have gone undetected. As governments and institutions poured over the data, questions arose about what should be revealed to the public. The details of the transmission were too unsettling to share without risking panic. Yet concealing them risked an equally destabilizing backlash if they leaked. The balance between transparency and control had never been so fraught. To admit openly that a signal had been received from an interstellar object, one containing what appeared to be encoded directives, would shatter the fragile illusion of security that modern society depends on. Yet to deny or downplay it would mean operating under a veil of secrecy that could not last forever. The weight of responsibility was immense, for every decision carried consequences on a planetary scale. The nature of the instructions embedded within the transmission remained the most alarming feature. Analysts who dissected the modulations argued that the code resembled an initiation handshake, a kind of protocol negotiation common in digital communications. In human terms, it was as though an unknown entity had knocked on the door of our networks and left behind a cryptographic key. Whether that key could be used to open deeper channels of communication or to exploit vulnerabilities was a matter of fierce debate. The implications were chilling, for it meant that extraterrestrial intelligence was not content to observe from afar. It was reaching directly into the digital heart of human civilization,